The Archimedes screw, also known as water screw or Egyptian screw, is one of the earliest hydraulic machines. It has a rotating screw shaped blade inside a cylindrical casing. One end of the screw is placed in water or grains and is elevated at some angle. The screw is then turned. As the screw turns, the material is trapped in the air pockets between the screw's threads, lifted along the screw's axis and eventually comes out of the open upper end. Traditionally, this machine was used for irrigation and was operated by hand. In this video, we will make our own model of Archimedes screw from simple materials. But before that, I have an interesting story from chapters of history. Archimedes, born in the 3rd century BC, was one of the most important inventors of his time. Once, the king asked Archimedes to find a solution to empty rainwater from the hull of one of his ships. And Archimedes came up with the water screw device. There is however evidence that screw pumps were in use centuries earlier in ancient Egypt where it was used to lift water from the river Nile. Some scholars believe that Archimedes invented the screw pump himself independently. Others think that Archimedes travelled from Greece to Egypt where he discovered the technology already in use. Then he tweaked and improved it. Archimedes never claimed credit for the screw pump but it was later attributed to him. This device proved to be so useful that it is still being used today. For instance, it is used to lift wastewater in water treatment plants and even to lift water in some amusement park rides, though these are now powered using electric motors. We will now make our own model of Archimedes screw. But before that, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, do subscribe. To make our own Archimedes screw, we need a cylindrical tube. You may take a small length of PVC pipe, some thick sturdy paper or you may take cardboard, thick transparent plastic sheet to make the casing of the screw, a pair of scissors, a compass, hot glue gun and a glue like fevicol. Measure the diameter of the cylindrical tube and draw a circle of the same diameter on thick paper. Draw another concentric circle with the diameter 4 to 5 cm more than the inner circle. Cut the outer circle. Now make a cut along the radius till the boundary of the inner circle. And make rings out of this. We will need a few more of these rings depending upon the length of our tube. Staple or glue these rings together to make a spiral. Put these strings around the tube making a spiral along the length keeping the ring starting points equidistant. Apply glue to fix these spiral rings. The plastic sheet is rolled around the screw to snugly fit and not leave any gap. Tape it to make the casing. Use a cardboard circle to seal one end of the casing. A small opening is made near this end to allow our material to enter the screw assembly. This is the inlet and this is the outlet at the top of the spiral at the opposite side of the inlet. Now that our screw pump is ready, let's test it. We can't use this model for lifting water as it is made up of paper which will spoil in water, so we will lift some grains. 
With every rotation, screw carries away a small amount of grain upward. After some time, the grains would start coming out of the open end. I have discovered one more fun application of the Archimedes screw, which is using it as a marble run. Someone rightly said, the simplest ideas are often the best. If you enjoyed this video, do like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel.